Good morning, everyone. I have a little bit of news on my bike here. I'm in my attempts to get a little more from it, upgrade this and that here and there. You probably know from my past videos what I've done. And uh, part of that was modifying the exhaust. So that's no longer, no longer stock. It's uh, quite a bit improved. But uh, I've decided to step onto the dark side and join the aftermarket exhaust crowd. So I have on the way to me, it should be with me tomorrow or maybe the next day, a full Yoshimura RS4 comp series exhaust. So pretty excited about that. I, um, I chose it because because the RS4 Yoshi uh, I like the design of it I like the header design and the way they've uh, kind of mapped out the flow and all and it's uh, probably gonna uh, be just about right for some future mods that I have in mind as this engine uh, ages and I get uh, a little bit more playful with the mods so yeah well this is the stock exhaust the way i have it no doubt the yoshi is going to be a lot louder and that was part of you know my objections to having an aftermarket exhaust but uh, i've kind of overcoming those objections a bit. I'm just getting tempted just to see what it's like. And uh, quite frankly, the stock exhaust is getting louder by the month anyway, because, you know, it has some packing material in the outer shell. It's a double wall outer shell, and it's got packing material in there. And I think that gets a little bit uh, clogged up after a while and doesn't deaden the noise too much. So it gets louder anyway. So, there you go. Go for a ride now. Let's get my gloves. I don't know whether I mentioned uh, that I have a, a little tack here. Tack hour meter, but I use it only on the tack function, of course. And uh, uh, what make is it? It's a Hardline Products. Got it from the Yoko, uh, local uh, Honda dealer. And then I fabricated a little plate to mount it on the on the rear um, pinch bolts for the bars and it's just a one wire gets wrapped around the plug I don't know whether you can see it probably not but that's it down there anyway it works pretty nice Don't need a tack, but it's it's good to have one and lets me know where the revs are. Comes in handy for tuning the engine. Trying to get the most out of it. So I'm uh I'm hoping that the Yoshi uh, exhaust system won't uh, won't deteriorate the, the low end because I've got the low end pulling really good. You know, it has a much larger header diameter and uh, freer flowing, so that's the only thing I'm concerned about. One of the other reasons I chose the Yoshi system is uh, just talking to people who have owned one or do own one on this bike. And uh, I was also talking to Dobek, uh, the tech at Dobek, makers of the fuel controller, EJK. And he was saying that the Yoshi system was one of the best that they have tested on that bike, so the CRF250L. So that kind of confirms some things for me. It's a little more expensive than FMF, but I got what I think is a, the best price possible. 
from Canada's motorcycle and free shipping of course so so we'll be doing some reviews over the next little while uh, obviously I'll review the Yoshi system and I'm uh, gonna do a few reviews uh, let's see I'll do one on new helmet the new fly tracker helmet that I have that I slightly modified to re remove the peak and so forth so I'll go over my camera setup on that helmet and mic and uh, gonna review my new riding gear my jacket and pants uh, might review some ear protection yeah things like that so you can keep an eye out for that if that uh, interests you at all. So that's about it for today. Stay tuned for the uh, Yoshi update. After I get that installed, I'll do a little video. Share that with you guys. See how I like it. In the meantime, ride safe. Have fun.